Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now this is part two about noiseless pickups. In part one I discussed the pros and cons of noiseless pickups as well as what I personally like and don't like and I also gave some sound examples as well in, in high quality. If you watch these videos in 4K through something like the Google Chrome browser then you'll really hear um, the best example of these sound samples that I give you. Now, what I concluded is that I prefer the regular pickups, but they are rather noisy for a live or recording application. I do love this guitar, so I haven't reviewed this yet. I want to soon. This will probably end up, be, end up being my only Strat, because I love it. It's just got very simple controls, uh, regular wiring, a roasted neck, which I love. Let me show that to you. I love the neck. The profile is awesome. Locking tuners, which I love, and I love. I always bought the Sonic Blue guitar, so I love this guitar. I've left the I left nines on here. I left the trem, so I can use it. I love this guitar. I also love the pickups, especially the cleans are amazing on this. Like real, just um, beautiful cleans. But the pickups are noisy, and as I said before, there's not any hum cancelling configuration in here. These are just old, regular, noisy and great pickups, but the noise will be a problem. I've said before, this apartment gets very noisy with the wiring and the airport nearby, whatever. But obviously when you go to a venue, you don't know what you're up against. So a working musician would gravitate towards humbuckers or noiseless pickups. But what if you don't want them? What if you want these pickups, but you want them to be less noisy? Well, you can go in there, check the shielding, add shielding inside. But as I said before, Illich Electronics make a system which is basically a dummy coil in the back plate. So this is the Illich back plate. I ordered this from Illich Direct. Uh, they're out, in, like, out west in California. I got one the same color as the front, so it matches. So you would never know there's anything in this guitar. It adds no weight. There's no weird logo or anything. But it's built into there and it's wired under the pick guard and soldered in. And then there's two controls to change the amount of noise cancellation that you have. So I didn't do this myself. You can do this yourself. You can take your guitar um, to a repair shop or do it yourself with a soldering iron. Obviously you are cutting cables. So if you want to do this on an old 60s original Strat, I wouldn't, well, no, I mean, if you want to play that guitar, then do it. I don't know if I would. It does require modification is what I'm trying to say, but not too much. So he literally soldered it in the right, in the right cables, attached the back plate, and made some adjustments. It seemed to make a difference. I wasn't totally convinced at the time. So when I got home, I plugged in. I Before I left the house, I'd made a recording of the guitar. I plugged in exactly the same, made another recording. It sounded the same or worse slightly different frequency of hiss and sound and noise. I was very disappointed, but I was told that you need to tweak those yourself. So all I did was re um, remove these bottom screws of the pick guard, pull out the little bag that holds the controls. This adds no weight to the guitar, like I said. And I played with it and I just turned them until on all positions, the, the, the hum was reduced in the best position. It's just a, just a turn it with this screwdriver. So I found the best position and it seemed great. And I put it back inside, tightened it up again. I made another recording and it is, it is a lot better, a lot better. Um, I'd say like a, it's like 50% reduction. It's not silent and it never will be, I, I presume. Even the noiseless pickups that I demoed before are not silent, there's still noise. It's just greatly reduced, but the output of the pickups also seems hotter and the tone has a bit less treble. So if you want the lower output, vintage, bright sounding pickups, this is a great option. Now what I'm going to do is play you some audio clips and I'll label them on the screen as to what they are so you can hear for yourself the difference in the noise and also that the tone has been retained as far as, well, at least enough for me anyway. So let me roll that now and I'll talk to you when we come back.
Okay, so you could clearly hear that the noise is lowered but not completely eliminated. Obviously that would be nice if it was, but you're probably never gonna get that from an analog system like this. There's always gonna be some noise. We just don't want the noise to be as loud as the playing is. But here's my kind of final thoughts on this product. Well, I love it and I'm really glad I bought it. It is around $250. Now what you gotta remember is, First of all, this might not be an issue for you. You might just be playing this guitar as it is and like, this is great. And any noise is just how a guitar is. Great. If the noise does drive you crazy, consider getting an active guitar, um, noises pickups. If, if, try them. If you can live with them, and you, maybe you prefer them. If you like them, much cheaper option. Um, and, the, 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 and the active system may even be quieter. It might be completely silent. You might want that. If you're like me and you've got a guitar that you love and you're so happy with the tone that you don't want to change anything, but you just want it to be a little bit less noisy, then go for this system. It's great. It does lower the noise. I was playing last night with the noise gate and everything off just straight into my Kemper and I forgot about the noise. I forgot that I had the noise gate off. I forgot that I had any noise in the guitar. It didn't bother me. And then when I do turn the noise gate up slightly, it makes it really, just really quiet. So like I said, it's not a magical solution. It won't remove all the noise and the price of it is as much as replacing the pickups with brand new pickups. So I would go that route. If, if you're not loving your pickups and they're noisy, then replace them. If you love your guitar, love your pickups, you just want to get rid of some noise, try the noise gate first. But it, remember, once you start playing, the noise will still be there while you're playing. It only removes it kind of while you're not really playing. So try that and if it's still bugging you especially i mean remember when you're playing at home quietly everything's kind of not as magnified once you get on a stage with bad wiring and you turn up and go in the pa and turn up and you're standing there and you're playing softly and all the audience hears is as loud as the, the notes on the guitar that's not good so if you love the pickups you have, love the guitar you have, well, I mean, it doesn't change the guitar, but if you love the pickups you have, then get this system, it, it works. It could work more so. I would love it if it was completely silent or maybe just a touch of noise, just so it's not kind of like, like it's a digital thing or something. But I would like if the noise was, was reduced a touch more. And I imagine that every guitar does react differently to the system, so bear that in mind when you install it. But I've only read good things about it my experience was good. I did have to tweak it myself a little bit and I may have to tweak it again, who knows. But right now, playing here, it's done the job I paid for and I highly recommend it. So this is not a paid review. I paid for this system and I recommend it. So if you're in my, if you're in my situation, then go ahead and do it and I'll see you real soon. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll go and enjoy my noiseless pickups. Thank you.